is it not? Right. Finally, we're back. Sorry, I'm just turning the volume down. I a uh, touch. So, anyway, where were we? Maximus Decimus Meridius. Um, his father was just killed. Uh, Give us a flashback to Nero. Our battleship should have just been taken out with this Persian fleet. So we've got to make our way to this tower right over there and um, yeah do a load of murder a load of murderizing I'm still semi hunting out the I uh, don't actually think there's any here um, and looking for any nice glowing green objects it does still look a million dollars when you look at this that armor oh, oh, oh sexy so um yeah, let's uh, eco way under there. If we don't take out that chain tower, our entire fleet will be destroyed. Well, better stop looking and get over there then. Where are we going? It's just your fellow Romans. We're going up, aren't we? It's all a bit too quiet. Ah, oh, there we go. They are guys. Oh, survivors rescued, so they better get down. They're quite sharpish. Oh, you sod. Straight in is getting me. You won't be needing that where you're going, mate. Oh, I hate those. Put him with a shield. Absolutely no spinal column left after that. Oh, god damn it, I didn't see that one coming. Come on. <laughs> I hit that wrong button about three times then. That's a massacre. Come on, soldier. or whatever. Let's gather what's left of the 14th and take down that chain tower. Anything? Any collectibles? No, I saw it. So, let me just... Um, how I'm going to keep it on um, XP just for the time being. Down there. Get them. Fire! Sodding archers. fast. Gonna go up there and batter your friends. Come on, let's get some multi-combo business going off. Yes. Yes. On you. So flipping tough now, are you? Yes, 
All right, I technically know that his name's Marius, okay, but I'm going to call him Maximus. I think that's what you call a visceral. Smash you in your bloody... Smash you in that fat one right in his head. It wasn't actually until later after this, the the whole, um, I can't remember the technical name for it, the groove in a sword um, that used to let the blood run out. So your sword, basically if you impaled someone um, and just stuck a knife, a sword or a knife straight in, um, what have I got there? Um, yeah, essentially, if you just if you just stuck a knife or a, um, a blade straight in it, it'd get stuck because obviously you know the uh, the muscle and um, the blood and everything basically just goes in and contracts around the wound and makes it a little bit sticky to get out. Um, so it wasn't it wasn't until the, the whole Roman technique for when you'd knife someone was basically to uh, um, you'd give the sword a bit of a twist. So as soon as you stick the sword in, while it's in in the uh, the wound, you just twist it around, and it has the added effect of really, really hurting, but also opening up the wound and causing a bit more damage. Um, so yeah, that's why it's it's quite authentic the way he fights. Sorry, it's not it's not a fucking history lesson. You're meant to be watching a video game. <laughs> Even though you might find that interesting. And sever the spinal column. Uh, so where are we off now? Right, we've got the tower. I can remember the tower was a real arse. Um, Listen to me. Our fleet is destroyed. The beach is in enemy hands. Our men lay dying in the water. We must fall back now. Dead, dead. He must fall back, my ass. Now's the time we've got to. Now's the time we've got to charge. Oh, you pussies. Hold until I give the word. Right, let's take out some of these. One. Oh, just got him. When you funny. Ah, oh, Maximus. <laughs> I think we can just storm up there now. I don't actually think I can reach those. Oh, oh, didn't see those cheeky blighters. And he didn't see that either. Come on, there's got to be another spit thing. Oh. Oh, I'll tell you what, he hasn't half got a throw, old uh, Marius. Right, I'm kind of out of uh, armor, so there's only one thing for it. Quick! Just hope they don't uh, cotton on. Come on. Let's get some health back with this next lot. Up to the tower. Let's 
get up the bloody hill. Come up. Pusses. Oof. Give to them <laughs> right on the last minute. It's a really risky strategy. Well, now. Oof. Always reminds me of an Asterix cartoon when you see them doing that. That's a cheeky one coming up at the end. This is a bit, um, can be fairly tough, this one. You men, raise the counterweight. I'll go up and release the chain lock. Stop that chain! Kill him and he gets in the way! Come on. So we've got to um, essentially try and take these down as um, as quick as we can, but also try and protect our guys there because these like just keep spawning out and they're taking down the people by the doors. You can if you're quick, kick them right down that. Oh, there you go, just like that. Which is of course often the best uh, way. Stops your sword getting a bit bloody. These are all we've got to kind of like worry about really. And that fat bastard there. But remember we've still got our um We've still got our turbo if need be. Let's keep soldiering through. Going, lads. Oh, slice and dice. Oh, <laughs> wrong one. <laughs> Are we, um, no, we're not. Did that on purpose, just so you can see what happens when you get damaged. And that one. <laughs> I couldn't even see what the colour of the thing was then, too. That's right, Sparta kick that was. God's sake. Oh. Won't get the other. That's all we're bothering about, getting these guys. All the others we can just handle in our own time, but 
Oh men are getting picked off down the bottom down there. Is that another one around the corner? No. They're getting pummeled. I love it how his mates just stand back and watch him get massacred. Die yourself, you sod. Come on. He's got to be about ready to go now. Come on. Done. For God's sake. Count to one in it's taking a bit long. <laughs> Run away. Oof. It's getting a bit messy there, it's getting a bit hairy. Well done, Maximus. And the fleet is through. Speech! Speech! Attention, lads! The brave man tastes death once. Cowards! A thousand times over. Now we have already spilled barbarian blood. And we know they bleed as we do. Don't look to your right, lads. Not literally. A rousing speech by Maximus there. Gods. His name was Ryan. God, what a bloodbath. Oh. Yeah, that's got bad news written all over it. Take out that MG32! No, it's our wrong game. Oh. I mean, come on, for a launch game, it still looks the shit. Oh, here's a big berry. Screw you up, I've had enough of you and your fat Johnny Vegas look like brothers. Oh. <laughs> Just left him there laughing at his own arm. And him. Oh, right in the face. That's how you do it, Maximus. Oh! Ah! 
<laughs> Keep missing the Hey guys, did you just see that guy that you just missed by running straight past him then? Oh, new combo shock horror. Oh god, I didn't sorry. <laughs> well that was it, I just assumed with my hundreds of Roman soldiers on the beach, they would have looked after these two sweaty barbarians. Oh well. Oh, all the more for me. Centurion hit. Come on, bash your shields, make it look really intimidating. Oh god, here we go. Oh. Still love that, it's really visceral. Yep, just getting in close, just getting in close. Is that top half as well? Here we go. Use the boat. Get up the boat. No collectibles for me? No, nothing. I was knackered in there. Right, come on, over we go, over we go. We've got to hold this barricade until our archers get here. Legionaries! Oh my life! All five of you. Let's take this fort. Move, move, move. Point defense is in position. Watch out. In your head, stand still. Let's deflect there. Come on, pick them up. Yes, it's cowardly, so what? I'm still alive. Come on! Oh god, we need to pick up another. Come on lads, bloody hell. I've got to do everything myself. Oh, I guess so. Jump down. Well done. Bloody hell. It's a bit tight. Right, what do I want to do? Uh, provides melee support, but enemy archers fire into melee, so you must dodge arrows. Uh, provides suppression of fire, but you get no support from melee, that'll be alright.
come on, I need to get stuck in there. Those archers need need a bit of fire support. Fatty. Off with your arm. In the throat. Give me some energy. Oh. More like it. Blood bath. Carnage. Taking you to pieces. Any more for any more. Shit, I thought I killed him. Have now get off my shield. Come on, for God's sake. Slice and dice. Let's get some This is what they want. You must look absolutely insane on the battlefield, running around at about a thousand miles an hour, just hacking the crap out of everybody. No wonder they all think he's a badass. See you doing it. Come on. Look through the bridge. Archers. Archers. We sneak around them. Oh, you nearly had me. Good shot, Marius. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you know what? It's worth it. Uh, get out of the way. Come on. Take out the forward catapult. Is there anything around here? Uh, Twinkie Kid just asking if the game is worth it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely worth a play. You can pick it. I, I picked this up for about £10 and um, I, I kind of really enjoyed it. It's, um, it's, it's entertaining. It's over quickly, but it's um, the, the story is pretty neat and it's uh, the graphics, as you can see, are pretty darn amazing. Sod you.
more should do it. Come on. Get in, lads. God, my energy's nearly gone. Let's get some energy back. That's close. Some need some health. It's got enough health there, I think. Felt a bit bad for him then, he was getting right ruffled. Thanks, Alito Giffersrrrr. Can't pronounce your name. Um, the multiplayer is um, Twinkie the Kid, it's, it's a co op multiplayer game, so there's you and um, another person, one of your friends or whoever's on the list and you get chucked into arenas almost similar to um, uh, what's the, the Russell Crowe film? Gladiator, that's the word I'm looking for so you get chucked into uh, arenas and you've essentially you know, you might have targets to take out um, but the multiplayer is surprisingly fun and you know, you can level up and get different costumes for your characters but you know, they'll set up traps and and things. I've only I've only played maybe mm, oh, three or four three or four games on the multiplayer, but it's it's it's, it's yeah. I, re I really enjoyed it. Oh. Which just kind of reminds me, really. I really should get stuck back into the multiplayer. Cause I did have such a laugh on it the other day. Just nice and um, just different. If you you know, if you like history and gladiatorial combat and things like that, you'll ah, God, he's a cheat. You'll get something out of it, like the blood coming out of his neck. Oh, Faso! I think it's always the best to try and whittle down these fat guys with the shields first of all because they're alright pain in the bloody arse yeah. I'm going to absolutely murder you two Big help, lads, thank you. Shield him in your face, Mario. Ooh, I need to get out of there. Big flabby chieftain. Easy. How you defeated. Oh. Oh. I 
think that would probably stab through the wall, but hey. Ah, uh, bloody chieftain thing again. Eh, uh, roll! <laughs> I didn't see that. It's a red thing to the last. Ah, uh, right, okay, there's two of them. It's alright. That's all good. Let me just scratch that shoulder itch for you. Any more? Just storm the castle together. Oh, I've never noticed that guy who dropped down and got impaled in the background. There. Maximus, Maximus, Maximus. See, he's going to set up his own Facebook page now and. Boss is coming. Commander Battalion. and men were lost today. Marius, you have proved that you can lead. You have earned the respect of the men. So, take this helmet and put it on. This is a helmet and not a book token. Legionaries! Salute your new centurion! Alright, alright, settle down! <laughs> you rowdy lot! Settle down, lads. Now, you know what you can expect from these barbarians. Sodomy. They are a race of rabid. Bastards who will fight us tooth and nail. But they don't know what they are up against. Rome is civilization. Rome is order. Rome is power. And out here, we are Rome. A rousing speech, sir. Uh, I happen to be on fire, sir. Commander, King Oswald's barbarian army is advancing on York. General Commodus and the 6th cohort engaged the enemy, but their fate is unknown. Secure the remaining boats and get them unloaded, and prepare the men. We march for York! Shit. Oh. Our march north towards the rebel heartland was brutal. Progress was slowed by battle after bloody battle against these embittered tribes. Rome had brought peace, 
rich trade and prosperity to these isles. This peace had been shattered by open rebellion. Now, finally, we were closing in on the very birthplace of this revolt, where King Oswald and his warrior daughter ruled. And his cowbag daughter. fast approaching. Now if they manage to meet up with this army, we don't stand a chance. York will fall. By the gods, the hairy ass bastards must outnumber us twenty to one. In a straight fight, we'll suffer heavy losses. But we're not going to attack. Their leader, King Oswald and his daughter Boudicca, are down there amongst them. If we capture him, the tribal chiefs will have to sue for peace to secure his safe release. Then Oswald will be forced to bow his knee and swear an oath to Rome. And these Britons, they are honorable in their own way. They have no honor. These vermin dare to stand against the might of Rome. They deserve to suffer our retribution. Our retribution? Or yours? Sir, I... Enough! We will end this rebellion my way and not put the lives of good men... Or the highway! That hasn't been invented Is yet. That understood, Centurion. Understood, Commander. Very well. A small detachment will infiltrate the enemy camp and capture Oswald and Boudicca. I will lead our main force and cut off their reinforcements. And what are my orders, sir? I promised you blood, didn't I? You will capture Oswald and Boudicca. Before you can get your men through safely, you will need to deal with the archers posted on the aqueduct. So you'll be starting out alone. Shit. Understood, sir. <laughs> it's an honor. You want me dead then, sir? See, this is the thing, the grubby Brits, they're just uh, you know, all all he's trying to all they're trying to do is bring the bloody aqueduct to them. Try and give them water, sanitation, clean health. It's just like a Monty Python sketch, isn't it? Anyway, I'm gonna um going to end the stream there guys I'm going to jump back in again tomorrow probably around about the same time 2 30 in the afternoon whatever time that is for you if you're watching at this moment um, thanks for tuning in and watching the continuing tales of Marius aka Maximus and um, yeah I'll catch you in the next stream take care um, thanks for watching of course give me a like give me a follow should you want it uh, Game Freak blog on Twitch Game Freak blog on Twitter Game Freak blog on YouTube all the GFBs. Um, so yeah, catch you in the next uh, game then guys. Take care.